So, this is our last example for the super elevation. If friction is great enough to prevent skidding, a vehicle would impend to overturn at a speed of V in kilometer per hour on a highway curve having a radius of 80 meters. The vehicle's center of gravity is 0.70 above the road and the tread is 1.45 uh, meters. Determine the speed if the angle of super elevation is 12 degrees. Okay, so 12 degrees ang ating angle of uh, elevation. Okay. So, ang tread naman natin is ano daw? 1.45. Ito yun. Yung tread or yung distance ng wheels. Okay, so hati natin sa dalawa. That is what? 0 0.725. 0 0.725. 0.725. Then, yung ating center of gravity mula doon sa, ano, sa road is what? 0.70 meters. Ayan. Okay. Okay, so, ano pa bang kulang? Okay, ang radius natin is 80 meters. Ang radius is equals to 80 meters. Ang tanong, determine the speed. Okay, yung V. Okay. So, since sabi daw niya dito, um, ano raw, um, so okay daw yung ating road in terms of uh, prevention in skidding. Ibig sabihin, tama lang yung roughness niya. Okay, so sa sobrang tama, uh, I mean, sa, since tama lang yung ating roughness, hindi siya dudulas. Pero, uh, may possibility naman siya na ano, mag-overturn. So, ano raw yung speed na kailangan natin sa highway curve na yun? para hindi raw siya no, mag-overturn. Kasi, ano na eh, parang safe na tayo for, from skidding, pero hindi tayo safe from overturning. So, kailangan natin, ano, i-check yung overturning niya. Okay? So, ano nga ba ito? Um, yung weight, ha? Ba? Ito yung weight natin. Ayan. Okay, then, ito naman yung ating, ano, centrifugal force P. Ayan. So, ito yung components ng ating W. Okay. Then, ito naman yung components ng ating centrifugal force. Okay. So, if this is 12 degrees, this is also equal to 12 degrees. Tama ba? Ayan. So, 12 degrees yan. Parehas. Okay. So, ang gawin natin, ano, um, mag-moment tayo dito sa point na to. Tama ba? Kasi syempre, ito yung outer edge natin eh. Ito yung inner edge. So, kung ito yung outer edge, mag-overturn yung ating uh, car ng pag to. Okay? So, dito tayo mag-moment. Okay? So, syempre, ayaw natin magkaroon ng overturning. Kaya, ang ating moment dapat dito is equals to 0. Okay? So, summation of moment is equals to 0. Clockwise is positive. Okay, so ito. This is what? P, ang, ang rotation niya is what? Is um, positive, okay? Or clockwise. Ah, yes, kasi baka magtaka kayo. Kasi meron tayo ditong ano, reaction. Tama ba? Natin siya reaction A and reaction B. Okay? Then, syempre, meron ditong ano, frictional force. So, this is FA and this is FB. Ngayon, kapag mag-moment tayo sa B, okay, ina-assume na natin na ano, na aangat na yun dito. Okay? So, kung aangat na yan, ibig sabihin, wala natin yung reaction at A. Tama ba? Kasi wala na siyang ano, contact dun sa ating road. Okay? So, aangat lang siya ng saktong-sakto. Okay? Kasi kapag sinabi natin impend, mag start pa lang. Okay? Yun na yung ano, starting na mag-overturn siya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung yun yung starting na mag-overturn siya, ibig sabihin, doon natin makukuha yung maximum um speed natin. Okay? Kapag yung speed na yun yung ma-reach natin, ibig sabihin, doon na mag-start na mag-overturn yung ating car. Okay? So, at that moment, wala na tayong reaction dito kasi wala na siyang contact. Okay? Tapos, syempre, mag-momenta dito, zero na yung ano, RB. And at the same time, yung ating FA and FB is also equals to zero. I mean, um, yung moment effect ng RB and moment effect ng FA and FB is equals to zero. So, sino na lang yung mga iikot? Yun ang tanong. Yung P na lang natin at yung W. Yun. Okay? So, ano to? P cosine kasi adjacent eh. So, P cosine of theta multiplied by what? 
by 0.70. Then this is what? Uh, iikot ng counterclockwise. So that is what? Negative P. This is opposite. So sine of theta multiplied by 0.725. Okay? Then yung weight naman. Anong ikot ito? Counterclockwise. Okay? So negative W multiplied by what? Cosine. Kasi adjacent. Okay? 12 degrees. Okay? So yung pasunod yung tate, ano na, 12 na. Sulit na natin. Okay? So, this is P cosine of 12 degrees. P sine of 12 degrees. And this is cosine of 12 degrees multiplied by 0.725. Okay? Then, ito naman, anong ikot nito? Counterclockwise din. So, negative W, this is opposite. Okay? So, uh, W sine of 12 degrees multiplied by what? By, okay, by 0.7 is equals to 0. Okay. So, pagsama natin ito, yung P. Kaya makukuha natin dyan, P multiplied by what? Multiplied by 0.534. Okay. Then, yung W natin, ilabas na natin siya sa kabilang equation. So, W multiplied by what? 0.8. 5, 5. So, let's check. So, uh, 0.70 cosine of 12 minus 0.725 sine of 12. So, that is what? 0.534. Okay? Then, this is 0.725 cosine of 12 okay, plus 0.70 sine of 12. Okay, 0.855. But, naging plus, sir? Kasi, paras naman sila negative. So, mag lang sila. Okay? So, P over W is equals to what? 0.855 over 0.534. So, ilan to? 0.855 over 0.534. So, 1.601. And ang ating PW is equals to what? Ating PW is equals to B squared over in kilometer per hour ang hinahanap. So, 3.6 squared Multiplied by GR. Ayan. So, 1.601 na P over W is equals to speed squared over 3.6 squared multiplied by G. Ang G natin is 9.80. Radius natin is 80 meters. Ayan. So, check natin yung, ano, yung mga units kung tumatama tayo. So, ito kasi, parehas to eh. Okay, unitless to. Okay. Then, 1.601 is equals to V squared over, this is what? Okay, 3, ah, ito yun. Okay. So, mamaya yan. This is what? 9.80 meter per second squared multiplied by 80 meters. Ayan. So, ilan ba ito? Kapag kinonvert kasi natin ito eh, sa... Okay, baka kasi makurious kayo kung ano, ah sorry, sorry, makurious kayo kung paano nangyari yan. So, meter per second. So, ilan to? 1,000 meters, then kilometer, then ito naman, um, seconds. Okay, so 60 seconds in 1 minute. Okay, and there are 60 minutes in 1 hour. So, cancel ang minutes, cancel ang seconds, cancel ang meter. So, ilan to? Okay. 60 times 60 over 1,000. So, that is what? 3.60 kilometer per hour. Ayan. So, ito yun. So, to unit less, 1.60, uh, uh, 1.601 is equals to V squared over, okay, 3.60 kilometer per hour. Ayan. Squared. Okay. Then, ito naman. 9.80 meter per second squared. Multiplied by 80 meters. Ah, yes. Ito nga pala. Yung V natin dito is what? Meter per second nga pala. So, naka-square siya. Okay. So, cancel to. Okay. So, Cancel ang meter squared. Ayan. Cancel din yung S squared. Ayan. Ang matitira na lang is K 
kilometer per hour squared. Then, square root. Okay, square root of uh, kilometer per hour squared. Cancel yung squared. Malitara, kilometer per hour. Okay? So, ang ating velocity is equals to 127.543. Yan. Kilometer per hour. So, ang bilis nito ah. <laughs> Nakatawot na to. <laughs> ang maximum nga lang sana sa <laughs> expressways 100 km per hour. Tama ba? So, let's check. 1.601 multiplied by 3.6 squared multiplied by 9.80 multiplied by 80. Okay, so square root. Yan, 127.543. Yan, so for the purpose lang na magkaroon tayo ng ano. Um, ito, ito. Um, problem. Yan, so hanggang doon na lang yung ating uh, super elevation. So next topic na natin is spiral curve. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye!